Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first time tag and also a weird questions tag. So they're going to be together. So let's start. So first time tag, when was your first kiss? My first kiss was when I was 13 years old. Yeah, pretty young, but pretty old, I guess, whatever. And I was dating this guy from my church and his name, let's not say his name because too many people know me. Let's say his name was rhymes with Jewish anyway so we wanted to have our first kiss and I had never been kissed but he didn't know that and he said okay meet me at the store so my friends helped me like convince my parents to let me go to the store which was right across the street from our church or right around the corner and I met him there and he was next to the frozen drink section or whatever and I just went straight up to him and we just kissed and the people in the store saw us um, and it was sure. I pretended to know what I was doing but I had no clue what I was doing and I remember he said something like you're good at this and I was like yeah and in my mind I'm like I've never been kissed so happy I didn't do something wrong it was cute um, he ended up cheating on me but anyway let's stick to kisses um uh, another question is what is your worst kiss my worst kiss was also with him he kissed me one time after he eaten Doritos and I didn't know he just ate Doritos. Like who does that to a person? Like it was really gross and cheesy and yeah, probably why it didn't work out at the end. Okay, the next question is where is it? The first time you skipped school. First time I skipped school was actually when I was fourteen years old in ninth grade. I don't even know if my parents know about this. Actually, yeah, they do know about this because I skipped school, they dropped me off at school, and I ended up meeting a boy, and we just skipped school together, and I remember I wrote everything in a journal. And here's my piece of advice, this is the only thing you take from this whole video, is that if you're a child with Latino parents, or Hispanic parents, I don't know, just parents in general, your mother is going to find your journal. So I wrote everything, like very explicit, very detailed in my journal i didn't get called they didn't even call my my home after i cut school and of course my mom went and she read my journal found out everything that happened so do not keep a journal nowadays kids don't even write they go on facebook but i wouldn't put stuff on facebook either so bottom line just don't skip school and if you're going to do it be smart about it so now on to some weird questions uh, do you have any weird phobias? Uh, I don't think I have weird phobias. Well, actually, I, I have a lot of phobias because I have like a lot of anxiety. So we'll skip that one because it's just too much to even talk about. And you're, you're going to think that I'm a psycho. Um, what's the drink you always order at Starbucks? Oh, my gosh. Um, I love the tea. Uh, I usually get like. Acai, Akai, whatever, however you pronounce that, A-C-A-I, tea with like strawberries in it, or I'll get the double chocolate chip frap, oh, awesome, with whipped cream on the top, and that's about it, I'm not a big coffee person. Um, what was your first stuffed animal? I don't remember my first stuffed animal, I know that as a baby, I got a doll, um, I don't have her anymore and I called her my Mimi doll and I was with her like till forever she was my favorite doll ever uh, what's one of your biggest pet peeves chewing if you chew a certain way I can't take it like I'm gonna tell you can you please not chew that way huge pet peeve I don't like when people stare at me you can ask my family do not like when people stare at me it, I hate it like I will approach you and be like why are you why are you staring at me my family always says like I'm gonna get beat up one day but why are you staring like that's so rude it makes you feel uncomfortable there's no reason to be staring shout out to my mom I just spoke about you yeah she's definitely if anybody needs a job in the FBI or you have a job for her in the FBI she, she will search she is awesome with her skills Let's see. 
What's your favorite comfort food that's bad, but you love to eat it anyways? Carbs. I love carbs. I love bread. I love cheese. I love mac and cheese. I love potatoes. French fries. I'm a big carb person, so that's terrible. What side of the bed do you sleep on? I have a twin bed, and I sleep on myself, so I don't really have a side of the bed that I sleep on. I usually will sleep on my right shoulder, but sometimes I'll sleep on my stomach, which is really weird sometimes. My mom and everybody says I sleep really weird, so it's fine. That's why I don't sleep with them. Which way do you face in the shower? I face away from the shower head. Like my back is to the shower head. I don't face the shower head. Any weird body skills. So I'm double jointed in my thumbs, and this is like a normal thumb. Mine goes all the way back, and both sides do that actually. Both sides of my thumb go all the way back. So like I always play around and say I can't hitchhike because I can put it straight up but I feel more comfortable doing this so for people that that gross is out deal with it okay deal with it weird thumbs I also can like make a weird sound with my th yeah that's about it for that <laughs> okay last question most embarrassing first date so my first date with this guy we went to eat and I was really nervous. I mean, we have spoken for a long time, and I've seen him a lot of times in church and stuff, but it was our first official date. So he took me out to eat, and we went to Friday's, which I love that restaurant. And I was just so nervous, like if I hadn't just seen him like all the time, but I was. it was different. This was like official, like our first date. So we went, and it was beautiful. We went to the beach I think that was after eating actually but we went to the beach and we got ice cream and it was just an awesome date but when we went to eat at Friday's I ordered a burger and I already have things with burgers I guess that's not a phobia but it's just like a weirdness like they have to be well done so I get a burger and it was like some chipotle jalapeno burger I love spicy food so we're there and you know you're trying to look cute and you try to be you know I don't know it's your first date you don't know how to act and they come and they bring me my burger and he's eating and the minute I take a bite of this burger it felt like I was dying the insides of my cheeks were burning my tongue was burning the roof of my mouth was burning I started to sweat uh, I didn't know what to do he said what's going on are you okay we open up my burger and there's like a whole jalapeno in it instead of like those little jalapeno you know like cut in pieces no the whole jalapeno with the seeds everything is in the burger i'm turning red i'm sweating i'm in tears he had to tell the waitress i'm not even sure they got me milk or not like maybe i passed out i don't know what happened it was just the most embarrassing first date ever do not order spicy food if you have never had it before i just felt so embarrassed because I just couldn't breathe I really my head started spinning I felt like I was gonna pass out all for a burger because I wanted to be cool and get like the extra spice that was like the worst first date and it wasn't because of him it was because of me and I was so embarrassed so that was something that I will definitely remember thank God that didn't affect our relationship and we were together for a long time and even though we're not together now we're really great friends so the jalapeno did not destroy us, but it almost killed me. So Fridays, get your life and fix those burgers because I almost died and nobody has time to be dying while eating a burger on Fridays. Alright guys, so I will see you later and I will be posting more videos this week. Bye!